Now the second presentation is of the cross domain communication using XNMP protocol. This platform or a chat client allows user to create a group wherein members can be using a different servers like Facebook, Gmail or Yahoo and enables group, group chat between them. So can you all proceed with your presentation? Thank you. Good evening everybody. Our project is cross domain communication using XMPP protocol. I'm Ashlesha Patinkar and these are my team members Ankita Singh and Shanmuga Priya Chandran. So far we have seen that group chat has been implemented only for single domain. The motivation behind our project was to develop a software application which would create a bridge between different social networking app, uh, service providers by providing one single platform where you can chat with all your contacts from different service providers. For example, Facebook, Gmail. Uh, also to remove the restriction of being in each other's body list to communicate with each other. So this would help in developing a tool which would be useful for discussions across multiple domains. So what is exactly XMPP? XMPP stands for Extensible Messaging and Presence Protocol. It is an open source standard. It is decentralized, interoperable. It was initially known as Jabber and it uses XML. Now this is this is the architecture where there is server to server communication. These are clients connected to each server. Now this server is an XMPP server. And uh, as you can see, there are no, no hops in between. So uh, this would uh, prevent denial of service attacks. This is our main sequence diagram which with, with which I can explain you how we are going about doing the things. So there's a dual client which logs in through Facebook as well as Gmail. So these two connections remain uh, separate. There is no interference because we've used two different objects. So uh, there's a client which logs in through Facebook. If the login is successful, he requests for a roster. Now this is a typical terminology which we use in XMPP which stands for a buddy list. So this dual client would create a group using his contacts from Facebook as well as Gmail. <laughs> okay, now this dual client would send a message hey to his Facebook uh, friend as well as to his Gmail friend. And now if his Facebook friend replies, it would also get sent to the Gmail friend. Now the Facebook and Gmail people are not in each other's contact list, they are not buddies. Still they would get each other's messages because we have developed an, an application that handles the backend functionality for this. That is the dual client. Uh, so there is always scope for improvement. So uh, what we'll be doing next, next is voice over IP integration with our client, which would facilitate audio communication and also video communication. Uh, now I would request my colleague Ankita to go forward with it. Now before starting the demo, uh, first, I would like to tell you what were the technical difficulties we faced. So as you all know that Gmail is a very secure site and while we were trying to uh, take out the contacts from Gmail, many times we were blocked and several times we were not given the authentication to contact Gmail. And uh, there's a thing, as we all told that, there's a thing called resource, like uh, when you, you, have, you may have a username and first you can log in through your desktop, through mobile, so that is called a resource, whenever the thing that you're logging with. So in uh, Gmail, whenever some, part, some people log in, the resource is dynam uh, dynamically generated. So you cannot uh, hard code that thing. So that is a very technical difficulty and it took a lot of time for us to resolve that, but successfully we have resolved that and we have come up with that application. Now I will uh, walk you through the demo. Okay, now as you can see, this is the homepage of a client and from account you can go to the login. This is the Facebook login and you, you give the same username and password as you give for the Facebook server. Then you click on submit and you can also see that there's a Gmail uh, page open over there and somebody, somebody has been logged in over there. Now again, this, as is, this is a dual login, so you again click from Gmail and you're giving the username and password that you will use for the Gmail server. So basically our client is being used as the dual client and uh, this person is creating the group. Now you can see this is uh, the ch chart frame that opens for the dual login. Here, as you can see on the left side, that is for Facebook contacts are being listed and the Gmail contacts are being listed. Now one unique thing is that the, there may be a scenario that the people that are in the Facebook and the Gmail, they may not be in each other's buddy list, but still with the help of this dual client, they will be able to talk to each other. There's a group created wherein people can be added both from Facebook and Gmail. 
we will demonstrate you through this like uh, before and you can see at the back of the screen we have also logged in through gmail and we have also logged into facebook now we'll send a message from our client and we'll, it will be first we'll create a group consisting of both the members then we'll send a message and it will be received by both gmail and facebook proceed now we are adding on people from facebook and from gmail you can see they are listed in the group users so these two people are in the group members now we are typing a message hi everyone and when we click send you can see the message popped up in both in facebook also see hi everyone is received and also in gmail so you can see we are sending message through our client but hi everyone is received both to gmail and to facebook they can talk to each other and our client is acting as a mediator we are just popping up the same chat so that it will be easier for you to see that how the simultaneous communication is taking place now the people replied from the gmail gmail server and it is received to facebook as well as to our client now again the person logged into facebook is replying to the uh, to the group and you can again see that it is being received at gmail as well as to our client so you can do as uh, simultaneously all the people can be talking to each other but they are logged in from different servers so i think this is all yeah thank you Thank you.